welcome to High Forty Five, a discussion about the future impact of this week's world and tech news leading towards the singularity. I'm Tristan Grace. I'm Nathan Waters. And this is High Forty Five. <laughs> you know, this, the music goes there. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Anyway, we've got a lot of awesome shit. We've got six yeah. awesome things we're going to talk about. It's going to be great. You guys are going to love it. So yeah. watch it. It will kick ass. Okay, uh, first off, I'll do my three. My three are the future of WordPress. Like, I'm sure you all know what WordPress is. WordPress is great. You know what WordPress is. We use no, it for everything. No, You've no. never used it? No. Nah, it's, it's a bit crappy, but hey, fuck it. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, the future of WordPress and where that's going to go. Uh, the, the next one, talking about if I can find the fucking thing. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Fucking tabs have you got open? I've there? got a million. I've got a million of them. Okay, the next one is auction for tweets. This is an interesting service I've just found about actually automating buying tweets online. If you want to actually get out to that person's followers, you get them to join this yeah. thing, you can automate it and go really cool. So cool. that's kind of epic. And then the last one, which I did have up before, oh yeah, it was about Sarah Palin, uh, the, the hacker that hacked Sarah Palin's email. He's got 20 years in jail. I think we should definitely talk about that because that's not cool. Definitely not cool. What are your three? I'd hack her email. Yeah, I'd do a lot Please. of things to her. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? That porno, wasn't it? Nailin Palin! Nailin Palin! Oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, it's time to round the house. <laughs> hey, my three are um, Singularity Hub article about the Internet of Things, basically where Ow. everything is connected to everything else and all interacts and talks to each other. Okay. Uh, capture advertising, you know, captures the things where you, you sign in for your, you sign up for services and, and you're you advertising in that. Yep, fuck yeah. yeah. Ads in that. And AOL sold, um, Inst they ICQ. Owned it? They owned ICQ. Oh, I didn't know. I thought they went the other way. Okay. They sold ICQ for a lot of money. ICQ, they're old and holy fuck. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> okay. Sweet. You gonna start? Yeah, I think so. We've got a we've got a good good six. I think we should go through it. Um, okay. Well, first one I was talking about. We is, should mention uh, what week this is too. It's what week is it? It's week uh, fourteen. So Monday. May second. Yeah, May second. Fuck. Okay. Well, we're filming this on Monday because we're a bit lazy, but May second. Hey, it works. Episode 14. 14. You've done a lot. 14 oh. weeks worth of this. That's a little sad. Okay. Well, my power's <laughs> just fallen out, but after I've done that, let's go straight in to the WordPress founder talks about the platform's future. This I discovered through Mashable. Big fan of Mashable. It works well. It's great. Uh, he's talking about uh, where WordPress is going and the rise of Tumblr and how that's going through. And the reason I brought this up is I think it could be interesting to actually speak about WordPress and how it's actually changed a lot from what it began with, which is just simple blogging software. If you guys don't know what WordPress is, WordPress is just a quick one, pretty much a one-click installation now to just put on a website and you have an automatic blog set, blog set up. You can put themes on. You can, it's a fully-fledged website. It's fantastic. And uh, he's talking a lot about where um, there's WordPress MU, where you can have multiple users all using it, like multiple blogs all set up as once. And there's this other thing called BuddyPress, and he's talking about it here, about BuddyPress being like the social network that you can actually start putting stuff on. It's not different yeah. social networks, but it's like a single one. And we use all of them. We use all of them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, big fan. Yeah, pretty, pretty proficient in them. Yeah. I would say. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so too. And it's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's uh, just looking at where the, the future's going with so all where, that. Where is he saying it's going? Well, the, the, the main thing that they were talking about was like, well, how does that respond to Tumblr? And they were saying, oh, Tumblr's awesome, awesome blogging platform. That's what we actually use for, both of us use for our personal yeah. blogs rather than WordPress because it's just easier to follow and to do all of the other yeah, features. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like Twitter for blogs, mm. really, which is nice. Which is pretty sweet. But then, you, there's no customization. That you can't... Like with WordPress, I love tinkering with the code and actually putting shit where you want it to go and exactly, you know, exactly having the website that you want because it has that that capability. Yeah, it's straight. Yeah, it's good. Well, like whereas um, Tumblr, it's just very, it's kind of like Facebook. It's very just yeah. what you have right there this rather is it, than just post your content. Yeah, WordPress, it's Don't, a fully yeah. fledged website where you can do what you want, which is yeah. So what is this different what, market? So what, what's he say? He's talking about reducing friction. He uses the word <laughs> friction. <laughs> and I think by what he means by friction so is the... So the answer is lube? Yeah, pretty much. Just, just lube shove it up. the lube in and get it all going around. The future of CMS, lube. <laughs> Lots of lube. <laughs> hmm. Um, well, that's actually what a lot of what he's speaking about, is uh, just getting rid of all of the stuff that how it takes you a bit to actually put in... Uh, put uh, content on. Whereas Tumblr, okay. it's great. You just actually click what piece of content you're going to put on your blog. It goes right there. It's straight up, straight there. So for an actual per blogging thing where you just want to chuck stuff up on the net and get it out there, Tumblr's probably better. But for WordPress, has really morphed and turned into the full-on website thing. Yeah. And he was saying that, yeah, a lot more that they need to actually reduce the friction. He determined it. 
<laughs> to actually get your content out there. Like you log into WordPress in the back, and it doesn't. It's not. It's not clean. Like it's easy, but oh, it's, it'd be nice to just put it straight up there. Dude, I've used, I used WordPress from way back in the day. Yeah, like way, way. It's like not as easy five, as Tumblr though. Plus years like ago. I mean, you yeah. can strip out a lot of stuff there. Yeah, yeah, but it's. I, mm. Yeah, I guess to the average user, it's is probably a bit difficult, but. I like it. It's very it's good. It's very clean in my opinion. It is. I think I think so. It's it's pretty cool. It's nice to use. But uh, yeah, I, I like thinking about this that just WordPress is such a fundamental part of the web that so many blogs, so many big things are yeah. all WordPress focused. I mean saying about it. Yeah, if pretty much everything we get our content off now is WordPress. Like TechCrunch, WordPress, I mean Singularity Hub, WordPress. I mean Mashable is. Mashable, well, yeah, there's yeah, a Mashable's lot of WordPress, yeah. There's a, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff out there that's Actually, um I think uh, TechCrunch is, is hosted on WordPress.com. Damn, they don't even pay their hosting costs. No. Well, they pay WordPress for it. They, oh, they get yeah, a special thing sorted out, but yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, so um, keep keep the eyes, keep your eyes on WordPress. Uh, WordPress is going to do something crazy. We should crazy. talk about where it's going with future, 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 future. Well, yeah. See, I, I'm not sure where, though. That's a problem. That... Like, well, where, where is CMS is going? Like, I, I love our Squarespace. Well, that's true. Automatic just, just the, resizing. The, the actual GUI just drag drop. This is, I want this here. I want to do this. Done. No code. There yeah. should be no coding in this day and age, but there still is an mm. incredible amount. And it's painful. When you're doing web design stuff, it's painful. Yeah, it's, it should be just automatic that you can yeah. actually just say, I want this here, this here, this here. That it shouldn't have, you shouldn't have to worry about code when you're designing a website. It should be just total design and you just make it look kind of cool. Yeah. But do you think WordPress will end up going towards that? Maybe. Or well, something. Well, they could. Like, I think blogs will end no, up wait, going wait, to wait, why, why don't they do like a Squarespace style at, uh, CMS? Mm, drag drop. They've got drag drop of users. type thing. Like, yeah. Anyway. I mean, they must be working well. I think they're actually going there. Uh, he should be famous. I should know his guy's name. Yeah, uh, Mullenweg. <laughs> Mullenweg. Mullenweg. I haven't heard of him. Mm. But um, hey, yeah. Well, he's, he's talking more about. I think it was a Buddy Press was a big one in this. Yeah, yeah, well, we've got a site running Buddy Press. We've got a site running Buddy Press, but... Nice, nice system, yeah. Sweet. Anyway, there's not, not too much to go there. Yeah. Well, we'll go with Johan. Um, 